Hello, welcome back to Burdu channel. In this video, we'll discuss how to create a website to sell products or services. This is the second part of the tutorial. In the previous part, we covered how to create an appealing website design, and you can check that out first. While in this part, we'll explore how to add service or product offerings to your website, manage links in the navigation, and integrate products into your website pages. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to the Burdu channel for more tutorial videos. Also, don't forget to hit the like button below and enable notifications. Okay, let's start with how to add products on Burdu. Open your Burdu website admin dashboard and navigate to the products section. To create a new product, click on add product in the upper right corner. In the name field, enter the title of the product you want to create. Next, you can add product images. Click on new image and choose the file you want to use as the product image. Moving on, fill in the product description in the text field. Provide a detailed description to ensure potential customers fully understand the product or service. Once that's done, proceed to the product details section. As for the product category, create a category, for example, travel, and put the product to that category. Feel free to create additional product categories like electronics or furniture based on the products available on your website. Categories make product management easier. Specify the product type based on whether it's physical or digital. Next, enter the product price. You can also provide a crossed price to grab the customer's attention. This is the full price before any discounts. For the payment method, you can skip this to follow the master settings. However, if you want this specific product to accept only certain payment methods, adjust accordingly. For physical products, enable track stock to facilitate stock tracking and enter the available stock. Now, let's move on to the variations section. If your product comes in different variations, such as plain t-shirts in black, white, gray, etc., you can add these variations along with their respective images. Once you're done, click Save. At this stage, you can see the product on the product page we created earlier. And there you have it. This is the product page. You can still modify the appearance if needed. Back to the product dashboard. Now, you can create other products in the same way. Click on Create Product and apply the same process for different products. Okay, here I have created several products. In the next step, we will add these products to the main page. Go to Layout, then Edit Layout. This is the layout editor for the website page we created earlier. Again, for detailed information on how to create a page like this, refer to the previous video. The link is in the description below. Now, add a new section. Look for the section group. Why use a section group? Because here, we'll add two sections at once, a text section and below it, a product list section. First, remove the default section here. Add a new section, choose text section. Change the text content, for example, best seller. Change the block type to heading one as the title. Then, adjust the font type and font size according to your website theme. I'll change the text alignment to left. Click Done. Now, add a new section, and look for Product List section. Here, the products you created earlier will appear. Let's adjust the appearance for neatness. Start with the products. Here, you can set the displayed products taken from all data, a specific category, a particular catalog, or manually specified. You can choose products that are the best sellers or those currently on promotion this month. Once done, click Done. Next, you can determine the number of columns and rows, starting from one like this, or six like this. The larger the column number, the smaller the space for each product. Let's choose three for the center. 
For the rows, since I only added a few products, let's make it one row. If you have many products, you can choose to make it two or more rows. Then, the alignment options, rounding, spacing, and shadows can be adjusted according to your preference. For the name, this refers to the product title. Like before, you can adjust its placement. For instance, if the name is long, choose the number of name rows as three to make all text visible. Also, the position can be changed to right, center, or left. Now, let's move on to the pricing. You can choose to display, hide, or show prices only for logged in customers. If your product has multiple variations, you can also set whether to display the lowest or highest variant price. You can adjust the price position, whether it's on the right, center, or left. Next, you can customize the image ratio in the product section. You can choose square, landscape, or portrait, and adjust the ratio accordingly. Resize the images as needed, whether to contain, cover, or stretch. When the cursor enters, it means that when website visitors hover over the product image, an effect can be applied to the image. The next image indicates that when the cursor is directed at the product, it will shift to the next image from the hovered product, given that there's more than one product image. Alternatively, you can choose Zoom to provide an animated effect. Feel free to change the text color of the product name, price text, crossed price, and others. The font can also be changed to match your website theme. Choose a font from the available options, or if you want to use a custom font. OK. Next, let's move on to the label section. This is used to display discounts or price reductions. In the discount number setting, you can choose a percent or price difference, depending on your preference. This only applies if there is a discount or a crossed price, as mentioned earlier. You can also add text to appear on the label. Adjust the font to match the website theme. Optionally, you can change the label color, text, number, outline, position, size, and shape using the slider settings. Next, let's go to the button section. You can change the button color by clicking the button color icon and selecting the desired color. The text color icon is for changing the text color inside the button. Don't forget to change the font type to match the other text. Also, the text inside the button can be modified. As you can see, in the product section, there is a share button. This can be customized in the share menu. When clicked, it will display several social media targets. If you don't want to display all of them, you can remove them by clicking the X on one of the social media lists. If you don't want to show the share options at all, you can uncheck the show option. Now, our best-selling product list is ready. Click Done. Then, move the product section up or to the position where you want the list to be placed. For example, I'll place it below the About Us section. Finally, don't forget to click Save. Great, the product list has been successfully added to the website page. Now, let's adjust the links in the navigation. Go to the Settings icon in the Navigation section. There are already some default links. You can edit or delete some of these default links. For example, I want to change the Gallery link to the Travel link that directs to the complete product list page. You can follow the same steps if you're selling physical products to create a link to the product list. Click on the Settings icon in the section you want to edit. Let's change the text to Travel or another word according to your website theme, for example, products. Then, for the target, select the local page. Then link it to the product category page. 
you can choose to display all products regardless of the category, but since we created the travel category earlier, now simply choose the travel category. So, this link will be directed to the travel category products only. Under the category options, there is an option to open in a new tab. If checked, when website visitors click the travel link, they will be directed to the travel category page in a new tab without closing the main page. Once done, click Done. I'll keep the login and logout links default for now. Now, let's say in this navigation, I want to add a video link as a teaser or promotion. To do this, add a new section, choose the content menu. In the navigation section, a default content link will appear, and when hovered over, a default video plus text will appear. On the left sidebar, a default section of video plus text will appear. This section can be deleted and replaced with another section according to your needs. You can even add multiple sections. Now, let's change the content text to video. Or you can also change it to other text according to the desired context. Next, go to Settings. You can change this default URL link to the video link you want to add to the navigation. Then, for settings like video position, size, and ratio, you can adjust them accordingly. You can also still adjust whether the controls are hidden when the video is played, such as play, pause, next, and others. This is when the video is played. The controls are not visible. Or you can check autoplay so that when hovered over, the video automatically plays. And if the setting mute is checked, the video will automatically play in mute or without sound. To unmute the audio, visitors just need to click the unmute icon here. Finally, for the loop option, this means that when the video ends, it will play again from the beginning. Okay, once done, let's now go to the content. The content menu is used to set the text next to the video. Please change the text according to the context of the video or promotion you want to display. Also, don't forget to adjust the font type, font size, text position, and text color if needed. Once done, it will look like this. Click Done, Done, and Finish. Finally, I will add a WhatsApp floating button so that website visitors can directly chat with your number or admin number. To do this, add a new section. Look for the floating button, Circle section. Default buttons like this will appear. You can adjust the position of this button by sliding the slider in the position settings, whether at the top like this, in the middle, or at the bottom. The button's position will remain here even when the website is scrolled up and down. Okay, now let's go to settings. You can change the button color. The button size can also be adjusted to small, medium, or large. The shadow behind the button can also be adjusted. Now let's go to the icon. Because the target is WhatsApp, the icon I want to use is correct like this. But if you want to use another icon, click search and choose an icon provided by Burdu. Or if you want to upload your own icon, Click Upload and choose the icon you want to include. Next, let's go to the link. So, in the link settings, we can determine where visitors will be directed when they click this button. Let's change it to WhatsApp. Enter your or admin's WhatsApp number in the phone column. You can also add a message, but this is optional. You can fill it in or not. Then there is an option for a new tab. Please check this if you want website visitors to be directed to the target in a new tab without closing the main page. For the deep link option, if activated, when website visitors click the WhatsApp button, they will be directed straight to the WhatsApp application without being redirected to WhatsApp web first in the browser. Okay, once done, click Done, Done, Save, and view the page. Congratulations, your website is now live. Now, let's check one by one. Let's check the navigation. The video automatically plays in mute mode as we said earlier. Then for the travel link, when clicked, it directs to the product page with the travel category. Now let's go to the product list. When hovered, there's a zoom effect. And when clicking on a product, visitors will be directed to the product details and can proceed to checkout. 
This product page can still be further customized in the layout editor if desired. Here's the benefit section, and below that is the FAQ. When clicked, the answers appear below. Next is the data form. Visitors can fill in this form, and the data will be stored in the website's database, visible in the form data report on the admin dashboard. Lastly, let's click on the WhatsApp floating button. Okay, the floating button is working well. Congratulations, your website is ready for use. All website pages can still be further customized or made more aesthetically pleasing. Additional supporting elements can also be added by choosing them in the layout editor or the list of apps. Thank you for watching. Like this video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the Burdu channel for more tutorial videos. Don't forget to follow Burdu's social media accounts to get other interesting content. See you!